one of the like downfalls of social media when you get like a big platform is um it's it's amazing and we love the fact that we have supporters and fans but some people can take it a little bit too far we had a fan follow us from the mall and the mall was in a different city and she had her grandma drive all the way and she had a crush on me and i appreciate it she's like oh you know later on she told me like oh you helped me come out and everything else like that but so she follows us all the way there she doesn't get out the car. We didn't even notice that anybody was following this because we're just so wrapped up into our lives. And then so it comes around, I think Valentine's Day. I think so. Yeah, I get edible arrangements on the doorstep and I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, oh, is this Bay sending me stuff? I'm like trying to figure out like who's sending me this? And Psych. then, so there's a number on there. I'm like, I don't know this number. And so I texted the number. I was like, oh, who is this? And they're like, oh, you'll find out. And then I'm like, this isn't cool, why don't you just tell me who it is? And then they weren't trying to tell me, and I was like, I'm gonna get the police involved, involved and like, you're extra, you don't need to take it that far. And they got mad, and so they gave my number out to a bunch of people, and then so people started hitting me up. After that, they said they promised they would leave me alone, but then they kept coming up to the door and dropping off stuff, and then I had to get a mom involved, like, oh, we're gonna get the police involved, and then so eventually she, like, stopped. And so we ended up moving, and then... Oh yeah, so we ended up moving into like an apartment complex and then so we go and work out and we took a picture but we didn't show anything in there. But the security guard that supposedly worked there was like, oh, we posted our picture, oh, Sarati lives here, da da da, my girl loves them, da da da. Mm -hmm. And like telling people where we live and so we had to you know, talk to management like, oh, you one of your security guards being a professional telling people where we live and then like, I think you got fired but our cars are broken into like and this is a gated community as well yeah so we're supposed to feel safe but we <laughs> it's it's a lot but like you know we still have to hold ourselves you know at a certain level because we do a lot for our fans so there's mm -hmm. like a lot of girls that are like oh i don't want to commit suicide you guys help me with your videos or i had a tumor on my side and mm -hmm. you know to get me through my surgery i watch your videos so we kind of have to act like nothing's going on on our end but there's a lot of stuff that happens but social media has its pros and cons so, you know the pros is you know getting brand deals and you're able to you know network with certain people and actually you know just grow your audience and spread the message that you want to spread versus back then where it's hard to like be known and stuff like that so um definitely blessed but you have to be cautious yeah i feel like another pro for um being just like in social media yeah. in general and stuff like that and us being on tour is that we give these like the youth somewhere to go mm -hmm. like they could be going through the most craziest things but once they come and see us it's just that moment in time they're just having fun being carefree not thinking about anything just being completely safe so the fact that we're able to provide that for the youth is amazing yeah, like too. a little outlet mm -hmm. so they can just forget about the changing problems. people's lives Okay, on our social media, you know. With the haters. Yeah, and, and trolls. <laughs> you, you might slip up and, you know, read a couple comments. I'm not reading everything, but let's say it's like a very good video that we post on Instagram or on YouTube. I'm like, I'm trying to see the feedback, what the, what the fans feeling. And you might get a couple, and you're just like, ooh, if I wasn't behind this screen right now. You wasn't behind this screen, I'd be boxing right now. But, you know, <laughs> you can't you can't stoop down to the level. I mean, the, the closest thing to, like, really stooping down is, like, doing a classy clap back. So actually just killing them with kindness. But, like, no, love, you know, this is what we're doing. But you guys can go ahead and check this question called out and then most people are like oh my god yes or they'll be like oh my god she she responded to me i didn't even mean it that mm -hmm. way they just want to say something rude to catch your attention so it's weird but i see it all and i'm just like <laughs> okay <laughs> it's a comment yeah. i've heard it worse. wishes me to do better though so anger me that that, that helps because i'm gonna make you like how beyonce anymore. has sasha fears she's like oh i hope you make me mad so i can kill it on stage yeah it's a fuels my fire if you have haters tell them that they booty stink mm-hmm yeah, <laughs> that, that hurt somebody bad. Like we we almost got into like a big fight. Well, it was a big fight, but because I told her I said she looked like she would smell, or she looks like she stinks. And our thing is we big on hygiene. So if you tell somebody like you look like you stink. They get offended. It's gonna hurt them real quick. Mm -hmm. I know we supposed to spread love, but you know sometimes you gotta have the little petty moment and just like, all right, you wanna do something to me? Your booty stink. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say it like that. Your booty stink. Your booty stink. <laughs>